Pavan, you're the team leader in the United Nations Environment Program for the Green Economy. What is the Green Economy? Why is it so important to the world today? Mm. So I think that this is a very good question. I think what we are facing today is an old brown economy where we follow a take-make waste model. We think that we can keep using resources in infinite quantities. We think it doesn't matter what kind of energy we use and how much we use. But the reality is there are limits. The world is finite. It does matter. We don't want to create more emissions. We don't want to exhaust our material resources, fresh water, fuel. The green economy is about being efficient, being clever, making use of materials in a circular manner, not in a linear manner. It's about making use of energy, which is renewable. These are the things which will completely change the economy that we see today. As different, like for instance in the last century, as automobiles and computers changed the economy, greening is as significant today as that was 100 years ago. Greening the economy of the world also has a very beneficial impact on climate change, does it not? Absolutely. And both the energy use, which is going to hopefully reduce for the amount of materials and goods and services, and the nature of the energy use, which is much more renewable, much more sunlight, much more wind, much more wave, much less carbon-based, fossil fuel-based. That is going to certainly help reduce global warming. Don't you hear the argument from many policymakers and leaders that, well, we really cannot green the economy because the world is in recession and that this will take away from the efforts of fighting that recession? I do get it, but I'm, I'm surprised that they say this because to me, that is exactly the problem. The world is in a recession because we have adopted the wrong economic model. If we go green, we create new green jobs, new and decent jobs. If we go green, we create new challenges for technology, new ideas for new young businesses to start. It is about a new economy. So therefore, the solution to the economic depression, which is, which is what we are in today, frankly, is greening. In December, there's going to be a very important UN-led climate change conference in Copenhagen, Denmark. Do you think the green economy really has a chance there? Will it be adopted? I think we must, and I think I frankly think there need to be two deals in Copenhagen. There has to be a deal which replaces and renews the protocol, the Kyoto Protocol, and there has to be another deal which reduces deforestation, because one-fifth of emissions that are happening today are because of deforestation and forest degradation. So what message would you like to send to those countries and to those leaders and those delegates who will be in Copenhagen? I was at Poznan and uh, Another uh, climate change conference. Another climate change conference, uh, the pre predecessor, if you like, of Copenhagen, where a small group of children stood up during a meeting and said that, dear leaders, you are either the last generation to not take climate change seriously or the first generation to take it seriously and solve the problem. And you decide which you want to be.